Hello educators and welcome to Lesson 2, the Note app for Windows. The Windows Note app is a bit different from the Android version, but they both have great benefits for our classrooms. In this lesson, we will be taking a look at the collaborative features of Note and the interactive tools that make it such a popular app. During this lesson, Chris will demonstrate how to use Note to utilize the interactivity of the Create board and take you on a tour of the features and how they can come in handy. Then, we will take a look at some tools you can use in specific content areas. And finally, we will be including a YouTube playlist for you to take a deeper dive into Note and the great ways to use it on your LG Create board. And now, we will turn it back over to Chris to take us through our lesson. Thanks, Alex. Now for this next lesson, we're actually going to look at the Note 3 app on Windows. And this is a more expanded version of the app that we've also seen on the Create Board. Let's take a look at the Note 3 app for Windows. You can launch it from the Finder window, or if you've pinned it to your tray, you can launch it from there. I've already launched it, so let's minimize and open the Note app. Let's take a look at the basic functions of the Note app first. So we have the ability to write directly on the page. And we can assign a size to our oops, pen. And so let's erase that really quick, clear the board. We can also reduce the size of it. Low class. Okay, quick and easy. And if I'm using an actual pen for my create board, it's even smoother, but I, I feel like I write really well with my finger. But we have our eraser functionality and we have the ability to lasso and move things around on the board. It didn't recognize it. Let's see if it can recognize this. And okay, create shapes. So once it creates shapes, I can actually move them around on the box. So let's see if it does that. Looks like it recognized it. So it's going to auto convert using a magic draw functionality. You can long press those. Oops. And actually, there we go. Double tap, and you can remove those at any time. The hand will allow us to move it around the board. We have the ability to move everything around on a board. These boards are very large. So we can move them around and find more space. Alternatively, we can add a new page to our board and we get all that extra space. So when we're looking at our board, we also have additional functions. We have this, which brings up a number of manipulatives for our board. So we have a, a math theme. We have a, oops science theme we have a chemistry theme and we have a there we go that's the science theme the first one was english okay so let's switch back to our main board at any time if we ever want to switch back to our computer we just press the computer button and it'll actually bring it back to our desktop. Sometimes we want to do that if we're going back to a browser. Okay. The other things that we have built into here are the ability to open files. So this will save it as a note file. We have the ability to 
We have the ability to open other files. We can import text files. We can import things from the clipboard. We can export and we can look at our settings. So when I look at our settings here, we have the ability to change the default background color. So if we prefer all new tabs or new notes, we'll launch it in that blue color. We can also uh, change our default drawing color. And we can modify our default font. So if you have a particular font that you prefer, you can select from some of the fonts in there to find one that's more appropriate for your grade level. And then for our font size, we can increase the font for our low vision learners. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at some of the tools that are built in under the treasure chest. And so the tools can be found under the wrench and hammer. And there are a number of tools that are pretty common uh, that are useful for the classroom. So we have a browser, just like we have our web browser elsewhere. We have a writing board, and this allows you to put something on the screen and hide it underneath. Always great. We have the same thing with a mask, the ability to hide things and mask what's underneath. We have the uh, timer. And the timer can be quickly set, three minutes to work, expand it, start that countdown. Then we can also screenshot that if we wanted to demo screenshotting. Screenshot, you can select an area. And this will actually add the screenshot to my note. So you'll see that. And so let's close that out. And so you'll see now, so this is now on the board or I could delete it. Okay. And the other tools that are built in are a mind map or a magnifier or a spotlight. And so the spotlight for hiding and, uh, I'm sorry, uh, reducing distractions on the screen uh, are really great. Let's hide that out. Okay, those are the kind of the basic ones that are built into there. But then we look at our subject tools, and this is our themes for the background of notes, colors, and you can uh, use a color picker and enter in your hex code if you want to. You have the uh, discipline backgrounds, which are, uh, let's say, a, a graph paper or line paper or even sports. We have teaching backgrounds or you can even customize it to your own image. So you can upload it to the back of the note. Then when we look at the discipline tools, discipline tools are manipulatives. And so let's look at the atomic structure. We can actually drop that quickly onto the screen and move it around and we can compare to. So let's see here, let me open up settings it brings up the periodic table and let's say we're studying nickel and that will change that to nickel and we can see the atomic structure of nickel then when we look at the other things we can look at the periodic table of elements as well and we can actually pull that up big and move that down okay let's close that out uh, there are a number of other manipulatives here that can be modified and manipulated. So a good example here is our beaker and we can adjust the volume within it. Uh, we can uh, move it around on the screen, increase layers so we could have this sitting on top of something else. And then uh, there's a number of other ones in there uh, specifically for chemistry. Physics, we have a few manipulatives in here that you can use to support uh, physics concepts. And then in math, when we look at math, we have the ability to actually uh, write our math problems. So, I mean, really basic, but you see it um, converting it into a mathematical formula. We can insert it on the screen. We can increase the size of it and we can move it around. 
So I could actually have these up here and I could have two of them, as students working through them independently or collaboratively in front of the class, or it could be modeling it as well. Um, a couple of other functionalities, the draw function, compass, square, protractor, etc. Okay, so then when we look at the other ones, we have English, which we have a four wire grid. Okay, and then under more resources, you can actually add resources to your treasure box. So to recap, there are a ton of great resources built into the Create Board that allow you to uh, manipulate items on the screen, on the board for your students in real time, uh, specific to your subject area. It's a really great resource and we think you'll like it too. Thanks, Chris. And as promised, here are some resources for you. First, if you would like some additional training on the Windows Note app, head on over to their website where they have a lot of literature to help you out. And if you are more of a visual learner and would like to do a deeper dive into Note, we have put together a YouTube playlist for you to explore. We hope you had fun learning about Windows Note. We will see you in the next lesson.